Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie Dye Lab. Today, let's make a hemostat mandala dress. The dress that I'm going to use is one of the tiered dresses from Old Navy. I have the dress turned inside out, and so what you see hanging out are the pockets. I've gone ahead and pulled them out as well. This is one of the shorter dresses. They make this length and then they make a midi dress. So on the middle tier, on the front side of the dress, I would like to place the hemostat mandala. So I've drawn myself a diagonal line on that middle tier using a washable marker. That's gonna kinda be my guide to start my mandala. I'm gonna fold that line in half and then pick the dress up and lay it back down. I'm only grabbing one layer of the fabric, so the mandala is only gonna be on the front portion of the dress. I'm gonna fold the mandala like I normally do. I'm gonna fold the bottom part up to the middle of that line, the top part down to the middle of that line. Then I'm gonna pinch that seam where everything comes together. I'm gonna to lift the dress up off of the table and kind of give it a shake and lay it back down. Then I'm gonna fold each side of the mandala one more time. This is a little bit more challenging on a dress just simply because the mandala portion is so small and I have so much fabric from the dress. I'm having a hard time being able to actually fold it without that interfering. So I ended up going ahead and folding it a second time. I wasn't happy with my fold, so I just unfolded it. I'm doing it again. I'm doing the same exact thing, just trying to smooth my fabric a little bit better. The weight of the rest of the dress keeps wanting to unfold this. So I'm going to use a couple of plastic clothespins to kind of hold the folds in place until I can get the hemostats on the dress. For this mandala, I'm going to use some curved hemostats. And I most of the time use 10 and 12 inch hemostats, but this time I'm pulling out some of my smaller hemostats. I have some that are between six inches and eight inches. I'm gonna alternate placing the hemostats on the dress and I'm placing the curved portion down or facing the middle of the mandala. I can't add a whole lot of hemostats because there's not a whole lot of space. I'm going to place the dress on top of a rack and I'm using one of the larger racks that I have because it's a pretty long fold. For the scrunch portion of the dress, which is the main body of the dress, I'm going to go ahead and place that down inside of one of the rectangular plastic baskets that I have that I purchased from the dollar store. And I'm going to put a few wiffle balls underneath just to give a little dimension to the dress. Then I'm gonna set the dress aside and allow it to dry out. Quite frankly, I got busy with some other projects, was a little intimidated to go ahead and dye this one, so I waited probably for about two weeks before I actually applied the dye. I finally decided on a color palette for this dress, and I thought it would be pretty if I dyed it some darker, richer colors. Since the dress is bone dry, I mean, it's been drying for a couple weeks. I went ahead and sprayed very lightly with a little bit of soda ash solution that I have inside of a spray bottle. 
This is going to help the dye adhere to the fabric a little bit better and not just fall off. At the very end, or what's going to be the center of the mandala, I'm using some aged wine from Dye Spin. Then in the next section, I'm going to use charcoal from Dharma Trading Company, followed by dances with raisins and brushed steel from Dharma, spicy plum from Pro Chemical and Dye, iron grave from Dye Spin, black cherry from Dharma, then I'm going to add a little bit more of the charcoal gray from Dharma in the very last section. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of dry soda ash over the top of the die. Then over the scrunch portion of the dress, I'm going to place some dusty purple and eggplant from Pro Chemical and Dye. Dharma makes an eggplant too, but it's not exactly the same color. This one is a little bit lighter. It's just a little bit different. I don't know how to explain it, but it is a different color. I'm also going to go ahead and add a little bit of Dharma's black cherry onto the scrunch portion. Then after I put a little bit more soda ash on this part of the dress, I'm going to add the ice on. Once I have the ice on the dress, over the top of the ice, I'm going to add a little bit of the gray colors. I'm going to add some charcoal from Dharma, some brushed steel from Dharma, and some of the iron gray from Dye Spin. Then because the ice is kind of precariously placed on top of the mandala portion, I just went ahead and left this dress right where it was at. 
I didn't move it until all the ice melted. Then I moved it off the table and put it out of the way so that it could go ahead and process. I didn't need to add any more ice. I checked underneath the mandala portion and these ice cubes that I'm using are two inch cubes. So they've got quite a bit of water in them and this is a pretty thin fold. I went ahead and allowed the dress to process for about 24 hours before I took it to my utility sink and I started rinsing. I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then after rinsing in cold for a while, I took the hemostats off, warmed the water up to hot, and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the dress. I continued rinsing until the water was running almost clear. Then I put the dress into my washing machine along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent. I washed it using a hot water cycle and then after the dress was washed, dried, and ironed, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you think? I think this one looks really pretty. I love the colors on it. I like those darker, richer tones. And I love the color splits that came out of all of these colors. These colors are all great ones for splits. I put the dress on a mannequin, but the mannequin that I have that's a female mannequin is like a size small medium. And this dress is a size large. So I don't think it hangs quite the same way on this smaller mannequin as it does when you actually put it on a person. I don't think that the mandala gets lost as much when you're actually wearing the dress. Some of those folds are filled out a little bit better and it's a lot more obvious. But I just really love this dress. I think it's really pretty. I love the dye movement. I love, you know, the more watercolor feel. You kind of get that tall, deep scrunch feel because I use the wiffle balls underneath and all of the color splits. It's just a really beautiful dress. I really like it. What do you guys think? Please drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you guys are enjoying the content of these videos and my YouTube channel, I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.